Man sees dog sleeping on road, realizes he's asking for help. He was driving from town to work when he saw the pup lying on the roadside. He didn't think much of it at first, knowing many people came to this side of the woods with their dogs for some fresh air. But when he spotted no owner near the dog, he knew he had to step in. What he discovered was more than what he bargained for. When Tom stopped his truck beside the road in the Cumberland Mountains, he'd expected to help a lost dog back home. An animal lover himself, he couldn't bear the thought of such a sweet soul being alone in the woods. He stepped out to help, finding out that everything that had happened that week led him to that moment. Tom was a plumber living in Berry, Kentucky. A 33-year-old father of two, he made a living from riding around town for plumbing jobs. Tom had been spending time with his kids that week when he got a call from a friend deep in the mountains. His friend was building a log cabin, and he wondered if Tom could help with the plumbing end of things. Little did they know such a favor would lead to the biggest discovery of Tom's life. Tom was among the best plumbers in Beria. He didn't just love his job, but performed it with such a passion that everyone around called him for any of their problems. When his friend told him he needed his expertise on the cabin, Tom was more than happy to help. After some quick planning, he got the cabin's location and prepared to drive there in the morning. Tom got in his car early that morning. He'd carried all his tools and snacks for the road, since the cabin was far off than he expected. With everything set, Tom left for the cabin. It had rained that day, and the clouds were heavy above him. Even though it was still morning, the day would soon turn dark. Tom spent an hour on the road before cutting into the beaten mountain path. He drove for two hours, with dark leaves and branches fluttering by him by the hundreds. The forest scent was strong in the blowing breeze, the air cold from the night's rainfall. To Tom, this was heaven on earth. He was enjoying the drive when out of nowhere, he noticed the dog on the road. Tom gently stepped on the brakes as his sight registered the dog. The first thing that grabbed his interest was that he couldn't see the dog's owner, although the pup had a bright blue leash. Tom parked his truck by the roadside and walked to the dog, calling him. But although the dog jumped to its feet, alert and barking, it didn't go to him. Tom's brows furrowed, but then he had an idea. Tom hurried into his truck and took out his snack box, fishing out a chicken sandwich. As he did, he thought that maybe the dog was lost and needed a ride back to town. He'd be more than happy to help. He hurried back to the pup and presented the food, but the dog didn't follow him. Tom took out his phone and recorded the incident to post it on social media. He hoped the owner would see the video and come for the dog. With the video in hand, Tom did the unexpected. Tom said goodbye to the dog and hopped back into his truck to drive off. But as he turned on the engine, the dog barked in a frenzy as if begging him to stay. Tom turned off the engine and came out. What is it, boy? He asked. The dog barked once and then raced into the thick foliage. He stopped and barked at Tom again, telling him to follow. Could he answer such a call? Tom hurried after the dog, who sped deeper into the forest. They wended through many trees and bushes, finally coming to a deep dark trench. The dog barked again, and out of nowhere, a different bark came from the darkness of the trench. Knowing another dog was stuck inside the trench, Tom quickly got to work to rescue it. He didn't know how wrong he was. Tom ran back to his truck and took out some climbing equipment he always kept in the trunk. He rushed back, climbing down with a flashlight and first aid kit in hand. His feet touched the ground after some minutes of descending into the trench. The dog inside the darkness barked, and Tom called to him, giving his word that he was here to help. He turned on his light, and that's when he saw it. A human leg awash in dried blood and dirt was on the mossy floor. Tom flashed his light toward it, and it moved. Hello, he called as he rushed to it, seeing a man recoil from his flashlight. Beside the man was the second dog, snarling at Tom as he neared. Easy, boy Tom raised his hands. I'm here to help he added. As he approached the man and his dog, he noticed something that made his lips part. The man was dirty, as if he'd spent more than a day inside the trench. A broken bone was sticking out of his calf, which he tried to bandage. Tom quickly set his flashlight aside and reached for his water canteen, placing it against the man's barely moving lips. He also offered the dog some before calling 911. Could he help them? Tom used the remaining water to clean the man's leg before dressing it with his first aid kit. He called his friend and explained what was happening, promising he'd be by his cabin later than expected. His friend told him he was on his way as soon as Tom broke the news. He managed to arrive well before first responders made it to the scene. What he did left Tom speechless. Tom's friend went out of his way to help Tom help the injured man out of the trench. First responders arrived as the two were assisting the man and eating some energy bars Tom's friend brought. The man was taken to the hospital, and soon afterward, his family reached out to Tom to thank him. They revealed that the man had been lost for two days. As they talked, Tom smiled, glad he'd listened to the dog at the side of the road.